Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking to another small ship that utilizes the vector thrust script in order to have thrusters move around on rotors. This is the CWP Butterfly, which is this lovely thing over here. So this is a small block ship that features no weapons whatsoever, but it does have a lot of points on it we can attach stuff on if you wanted to. We'll look at that a bit later. Pressing F10 and finding the butterfly in the spawn menu. There it is. This thing is 132 small blocks. Using the decorative block number one and number two, the Wasteland, Heavy Industry, and Sparks of the Future DLC packs. We can see here all the information about it on the Steam Workshop page. So give this thing a thumbs up. Move all around to the very front. My character can now bugger off into the distance. There we go. We'll have a quick look around the outside. Then we'll fly around for a bit to see how it handles. So, at the very front here, this is what we get. Front and centre, we've got ourselves our industrial cockpit to fly this thing around. On the left and right hand side, at the top, we've got our spotlights to light up the darkness. And just below that, we've got some sound blocks, which are purely there for decoration. Those sound blocks are attached onto some wheel blocks and some cylinder blocks to go all the way along, acting as makeshift landing legs, which just bop down onto the ground and will make sure that nothing else is generally touching. So there you can see the cockpit is just about off the ground, thanks to those little cylinders. If we were to move around onto the side here, what we can see is some white blocks, and right behind there we can see a large battery to power this thing. Before we come across onto the Amazon thruster, all the way around to here we've got ourselves a programmable block, which is currently showing us our turret radar, and just behind there we've got ourselves a company logo on the transparent LCD screen. To the left of that, a hydrogen thruster to help out on the left and right, and around and over to here, this is what I was talking about, having a attach point for weapons. So we've got a bunch of disconnected hinges of different types. We can attach whatever you need onto the ship if that's what you want to do. We'll come back to that when we look underneath. Coming over to our vector thrust section. This is our rotor that comes across onto our large atmospheric thruster and this will be used for our forwards, backwards, up and down. On the side of this we've got another LCD screen saying danger to stay away from the thruster side. And all the way around towards the back there is the battery we saw just a second ago. And over to here we've got ourselves a rotor for you to attach something on if you want to. If we were to look towards the back there, we can see another hydrogen thruster to help out on our left and right. Then coming around towards the very back, this is what we get. So we've got two little brake lights, some great use of our armoured plates, a rotor to control this thing. And then we can see our conveyors going across to the main body. If we were to move all the way up and above, a survival kit to respawn on and of course to recharge itself. Then towards the front there, there's our O2H2 generator. There's a battery, another gyroscope and antenna to make sure we can always find this. And over to here, another logo on the transparent LCD screen. Just covering up the top of our industrial cockpit, we've got some barred window blocks. Then coming all the way down and underneath this thing, right down below here, there is our cockpit. There is our wheels, our sound blocks, our rotors and cylinders, making up our little landing legs. We'll see back there, you can see our rotor attachments. And there's the bottom of our O2H2 generator, our survival kit. And there is the very back of the ship. And there we go, that is a very brief look around the outside of the CWP Butterfly, and it does look fantastic with how it's all been set up. So now I can grab hold of my character, come across over to here, we can get inside our industrial cockpit, we've got a few controls. Number one is going to be to turn on our thrusters, and this allows the jetpack to function, and will allow us to take off. There we go. Number two is going to turn off our vector thrust, but we'll leave our hydrogen thrusters turned on, just in case you need it. There we just wobble around there until of course we turn them back on. Number three is for our antenna on and off. Number four is for our brake lights at the back there on and off. And number five is for our lights at the front to toggle them on and off. So there we go. And then as for flying this thing around is a vector thrust script. So it will wobble around quite a lot but this is what we get. It's very stable for a vector thrust ship. It doesn't wobble around too much. And coming to a stop we are nice and quick. There we go. If we were to turn around, there we are, turning left and right, start to roll this thing. It's been a very well done. But yes, there's not too much else to talk about. We can look in first person view at our radar script, our meets per second, and of course our artificial horizon. Down below there, we've got ourselves another company logo with some more bits and bobs of information on there. Yes, like I said, there's not too much else to talk about. It's just a lovely little ship to fly around and to attach stuff on if you want to. So if you want to make this into a fighter ship, you could always attach on a Gatling gun to the bottom of that. You could always remove the sound blocks and from there attach them right there. It's entirely up to you. 
But yes, one last thing to do to this poor little ship is of course slam it into a mountainside and see how it crumples. Now I'm not too sure how crashes really work with the vector thrust script, so I'm pretty sure it would just take off the atmospheric thrusters and the whole ship should be fine, but you never know with this game. So here we go, we come all the way over to here at maximum speed. As per usual, there'll be a link to it in the description below. If you do wish to download and play around for it yourself, highly recommend you do. And here we go, all the way into the mountainside. What do we get? And uh, there we go, that was a fantastic crash. And not too much of the ship is remaining. That's quite surprising. We can see our little landing legs right there. Our cockpit is gone. Our Amazon thrusters are gone. But we still have our survival kit, and it's fully powered. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye-bye.